welcome to Talk About It Cora. Fashion, beauty, celebrity, and glamour. Heard on Rockland World Radio every Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to check out the archives for past Talk About It Cora's programs located on the menu bar. And now, the host of Talk About It Cora, Miss Cora Harrell. I've been away for a while, as you know, I was working on a project, yes, a book project with Nikki Woods, a beautiful collaboration with 20 other women. We finally finished the book, it's out, and the name of the book is called Shift, and it will be available for purchase on July 8th on Amazon.com, and you can stay tuned for more information, or you can follow me on Facebook. Uh, there's also going to be a fabulous course on shift that will try to introduce you to a little bit of what's going on so when you do get the book you'll be right there with us okay so we're going to dive right in and um, our main story for today is going to be about Kim Kardashian and her little sister Kylie <laughs> all right so who is wearing the best attire on today? All right, so 37% say Lindsay and 63% say Elizabeth Banks. Well, mm, it says here, what makes this Roland Murray dress so special? The neckline and Elizabeth's sleek undo allows it to take a center stage. Musician Lindsay Long looks complete with the intricate details taking away from its impact. Well. I like Elizabeth Banks. Elizabeth will be on the left-hand side where my finger is. And you can choose which one you want. And I just want to say, I just want to throw this in. Again, I want to say congratulations to um, Case. He's coming back out again. He's got a new single. Woo! And also, if you remember back in the day, um, Shantae and uh, Kenny Lattimore. Wow. I recently saw an interview with him and Nikki Woods, and he was singing his new song, Acapello. I'm telling you two thumbs up. I can't wait until you hear it and you can purchase it at your local store. All right. Now, we're going to go into Kim and, and Kylie. They're both pregnant and dumped. You didn't hear it from me because I'm just reading it right straight from this magazine. It says, with 17 years being between them, half-sisters Kim and Kylie Jenner haven't always been so close. But a dramatic, a dramatic turn of events have now bonded the siblings forever. Desperate to get pregnant, Kim, 34, is finally expecting life and style has exclusively learned the shocking twist. Kylie has told insiders she has a baby on the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But there won't be any celebrating for either of them. They've both been dumped by the fathers of their unborn children. Now, that's what the uh, tabloids say. We don't know what's going on because we know that these people are famous for doing all different types of extraordinary things that they do. Anything to get a little bit of publicity. It says here about Kim, she believes she's pregnant that though of Kylie being pregnant really scared the hell out of Tigger. That's supposed to be the father, okay. The idea of having this baby only made Kylie feel even more attached to him. The insider says she thought her relationship with Tigger would last and now she's devastated about the split. Oh well, I don't know what to tell you young lady. Are you getting off to a fair start? She's had a lot of work done. The more and more she gets into the uh, entertainment world, she's starting to look more and more like her sister, Kim Kardashian. 
They're speaking here now about all the plastic surgery she's had. It says here, with big eyes and even bigger lips, Kim and Kylie could be part of the same doll collection. Kim's actually had Botox on camera, and an insider said she's had lip, uh, had the lipo lip stuff on her legs, then had the fat injected into her butt, among other procedures. And we know she gets these procedures because she does them on camera. It says here that Kylie insists she just uses lip liner, though an, uh, an insider says she's had injections. I also look at her for style advice, says Kylie, her older sister. And I'm going to show you a picture of Kim and Kylie. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not going to judge. I'm just going to show you a picture. That's two of them up top. And while we're talking about the Kardashians, I just want to throw in, I don't have any pictures, but if you remember some time ago I was speaking about... Uh, Chris Jenner's husband, uh, I forgot his name. What's, what's the Jenner's husband in the game? Oh, Bruce. And he was going through all of those different procedures, and lo and behold, uh, he's come out of the closet. He wants to be a woman. Well, I say to each his own, and, um, you know, I hope he finds his way. And I, and I hope that, uh, you know, he reaches his destination in, in his purpose field life. All right, we're going to go in now, and I'm going to talk about the favorite number one lacquer salon product for this year of 2015. We are talking about the Morgan Taylor Professional Nail Lacquer. It's available now in all fine stores, and you can go to morgantaylorlacquer.com. It's our favorite pick. There you go. That's a really nice shade. And as you can see, I have a, a, a shirt that's the same color. They won't see that because we're actually in black and white right now. Oh, we're in black and white? Yes, we went retro. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay, time to pay some bills, and we're just going to do one today. Okay, we can go fuller, shinier. We can have beautiful hair, no matter what life throws at you. We can use fat hair, which valuizes and repairs, and it holds a lot of shine. Fat hair's unique formula adds extra volume, fullness, and shine, plus our advanced repair formula lets you combine repair and damage protection with your everyday hair care routine. And you can try this, and um, they have a special code that you can enter, which is 06FHLS1, in order for you to get your discount. And I love this advertisement. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> okay. Well, that concludes Talk About a Cora on today, and I am your host. As always, it's a great pleasure. I'm going to see you again on next week. I want you to stay tuned for the Youthology Hour, which will include the Mercy Squad and uh, the, produ the producer of that show is Lena Shockley. They're going to have an amazing show, as they had an amazing show on last week. And we're all a family here, one hand helping the other. We're just trying to make a difference. Ciao. It's not just radio, it's Rockland World Radio. Rockland World Radio dot com.